All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. <clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakawadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutation to the hopeful they got there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here, shallow one to the hopeful they double believers and listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into. Okay, this morning, you know, um, responding to something that was said in the video done by the brother Taza Mop out of um, Memphis. All right, the brother's channel. All right, the brother's channel is GMS through the fire too. You know, the beloved brother, you know, diligent brother, spiritual brother. You know, make sure to subscribe, you know, and be constantly edified. And what I want to respond to is something he said com um, concerning the serpent and Eve, okay? And one thing that we have to understand is that we're living in a society, you know, where that pact <laughs> between the serpent and Eve in the garden is fully playing out in this time, okay? And we'll s explain these things through scripture, okay? Uh, and he's gonna say some things, you know, in the spirit, you know, Lord, where I can expound on it and um, edify, you know. To this truth, you know, you, you really add up the years that you've been in it. <laughs> it really don't amount to the time that you've been in the world, you know, unless you like the apostles, you know, brothers that's been in it 40 years, 30 years. They've been in the truth. What I'm saying is they've been in the truth longer. I'm running back. this point okay brothers getting into you know exercising and you know the physical part of maintaining our temples but that's just ultimately something that really is, it starts in the spirit is you detox your mind from babylon you know and all the filth that it has drawn out of us you know as I look back, I'm like, shit, I now understand what Esau's purpose was in giving us a fucking free education in the public school system. You know, when you go into that word, uh, educate, it means to draw out. He, he drew out the seed of the serpent that was planted in us through Eve, man. You know, he drew out the seed of the serpent that was planted in us through Eve. So now <laughs> we got to detox that shit. We got to get that shit out of us, man. You know? If if um, if um you came into this truth, you know, you, you really add up the years. And, you know, he made the point, you know, how the school system, you know, drew out, you know, that they see the wickedness that was planted in us, you know, through Eve, you know, which she got from the serpent. Okay, and he's absolutely correct. Now, let's go here. All right, because, you know, the man and woman, okay, of their lineage of the sons of God, you know, is, is their fault, you know? But it began with who? You know, we can't, you see, one thing about it, and that's how right, going back to the, uh, the pact between the serpent and Eve, you know, because you go into accountability, the two people that, you know, always find, you know, a way to wiggle out of accountability is the serpent and Eve. You know, the man <laughs> is always held accountable, man. Okay? You look at how we've been punished, you know, by Yahweh, by Shema, al -Shai. You look at, you know, this system, how it's set up, you know, against the Israelite man in every way. Okay? We've, we've always had to take accountability. You know, which rightfully so, because you know, we was the one task, 
okay, will govern the earth in righteousness, okay? But there's still an accountability, all right, that Eve is going to have to take, man, and the serpent that they're going to have to take in these times, okay? Because they're at the forefront of this rebellion against righteousness, man, okay? Is the Esau Edom at the top <laughs> and Eve, okay, in the trenches, you know, pretty much <laughs> uh, on the ground, okay, causing havoc, man. All right, now you go to Sirach 25 and 24, it says, Oh, the woman came the beginning of sin. And how did it come, all right, through the woman, okay? How, how did it come through the woman, through the serpent, man? You see, that, that wicked way, that, that, that alternate way of living in which we'll see playing out today, okay? Hey, street culture, uh, 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 the feminist, okay, witchcraft, you know, sexual liberation, okay? Women in authority, women, you know, have all these, you know, uh, uh, benefits and, and safety nets in society. All these things go back to, okay, the... Uh, the, the, the Gardenian pact between the serpent and Eve, okay, dysfunctional families, okay, uh, uh, violence, but the woman, you know, was still able to, 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 to benefit the nation lost, but the woman was able to get comforts and safety nets, man, okay, and Esau's aim was to destroy the lineage of the sons of God, and he utilized the woman, okay, and we see it playing out today, all right, and what we um and what's called a matriarch, okay, that's that's what dominates the the sons of God. All right, Israel Israelites today, the tribes, you know, the majority of the tribes are under what you call a matriarch, man, you know. And you look at the morale under uh, on the matriarch, man. You look how much wickedness is able to be injected into you know uh, our people as a culture. Through the matriarch, man. Okay? It's the, it's the same method of back in the garden. So going back to Sirach 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. Because that, that wicked way took root in the woman. Okay? And she wore Adam down. And Adam gave in. And then you had the sons. Uh, the fall of the sons of God. Okay? <laughs> you see? So what we're seeing now, what we're seeing playing out, all right, is let's go here. What we're seeing playing out now, you know, is things that happened way in the past, man, in the garden, okay. And then in, in the '60s with that feminist movement, okay, the woman decided to take that agreement, man, <laughs> with the serpent again, okay. Same thing, just more technology, man. Okay? Now, when you go here, let's get this in um, 1 Timothy uh, 2. All right? It's 1 Timothy 2 and 11. Well, matter of fact, before I get that, this ain't going to be long because I want to touch on a few points. Let's get this in um, 2nd Ezra's. Alright, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 4 Verse 28 It said, but it's concerning the things Whereof thou hast asked me I will tell thee For the evil is sown But the destruction thereof is not yet come Okay, and the evil was sown Back during the time of Adam Okay, from the serpent through Eve Okay it said, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that it's sown with good. Okay? And that's why in this time, as the Lord has put the spirit on his men, to do what, man? Pluck up this wicked society in the spirit first, man, before Yahweh Shah comes and undoes all the workings of Esau Edom. And as far as the sons of God, Eve was used like as an agent, okay, to cause disorder and chaos and dysfunction within that line, okay, and then Eve has just been wreaking havoc, you know, and she's been what you call sexually liberated, okay, 
the power to choose, the power to be an authority, the power to be at the head of a family, the, the nation, all right, went to shit, man. Okay? <laughs> so, so the, 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 you see the wickedness of our people, okay? The, 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 the serpent utilizes the, the woman, you know, as if he's for her benefit. Because what did the Eve say in the garden? It, the, she said that the fruit or the, their doctrine was good to the flesh. Okay? The woman, you know, have these multiple men taking care of them. Okay? The woman, you know, wouldn't have to commit to a man. She wouldn't have to do wifely duties. Okay? She could just chill. Life is a big vacation. Okay? She really doesn't, you know, she has a daycare. Just throw the kids in the daycare. <laughs> okay? Uh, uh, uh. Allow, you know, TV and media and the streets to raise the children while she doing her. Okay. <laughs> See, she, it was good to the flesh. But look at the outcome. Okay. And yes, men, men, it's a lot of men <laughs> of, of our uh, nation that's wicked as well. Okay. But what are they products of, man? Okay. Well, what, what are they products of? And who and who they act like that to impress who? Cause Eve is drawn to what wickedness. That's why Eve like the most degenerate niggas. She like the most wicked, evil, scamming, street, okay, uh, uh, uh grimy, grimy niggas, man. Eve is drawn to that, man. You know, you have a lot of women. That's the only type of men, you know, that, that they deal with. Okay. Going back to it, it says if therefore. That which is sown be not turned upside down. And if their place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that it is sown with good. For the grain of evil seed have been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. Okay? And it came through who? Eve. Alright? And then it, she put it in the mind of Adam. Alright? Is that being the way? Okay? And how much ungodliness hath it brought up? Until this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? And that's the return of Yahweh Shai. Okay, the last Adam. You see, this time Adam is coming to break up and undo, all right, the workings of Eve and the serpent, man. He's coming to undo these things, man. Okay? That's why this doctrine, okay, is against this society, man. Okay, as, as it says in, um, Let's get this real quick. Let's get this in um Saint John seven and seven. You know? This Saint John seven and seven said the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is testifying against this wickedness, man. As Adam, you know, hey, he fell weak to it. Okay, well, as Yahweh Shai, he's testifying against his wickedness, man. And when he returns, he's coming to break up this system, all right, of, of, of the serpent and Eve, man. Okay, two thirds are a product of the serpent and Eve, you know. And Yahweh Shai is coming to get, uh, get rid of all that, he's removing that from paradise, man, which is the earth. Okay, <laughs> all right, through this, Adam. Yahweh Shai, we all live, man. Okay, through the first Adam. Okay. At the age of Eve, we died. Okay. This is, um, 2nd Ezra 4 and 30. Again, it says, For the grain of evil seed have been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much ungodliness have it brought up until this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth until the time? Of threshing come ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth man and see we're seeing the fruits okay of the, the serpent and eve this society man you have alphabet culture that's rampant okay amongst jake okay you got violent street culture that's rampant amongst jake okay and who's at the forefront of these things man Cause you got more, you got a lot of female, okay, uh, rappers now that push this madness, man. Okay, and, and Jake does these things to impress who? 
okay? You, you got, you know, dysfunction. You look at the families, okay? Single mother culture. Like, all these things are a fruit of, of, of the Eve, of, of the serpent and Eve, man. Okay? You look at the culture amongst Jake, man. This is the product of the serpent and Eve, man. You know? This is their creation just running around the earth, you know? <laughs> just, just doing complete wickedness, man. Okay? This is the bulk of it. Of course, you know, you still, you, you have your, you know, degenerates that come from two-parent households. You know, you have deception to all rules, man. You have, you know, case-by-case -case particular situations. But the, the, the system that's set up, you know, is the serpent through Eve. Then you have this madness that we see, man. That's the system that's in place, man. Okay? And it says... And when the ears shall be cut down, all right, which are without number, how great a floor shall they feel, okay? And we're in the time where the Lord is finna thresh down wickedness, man. Yahweh Shai, okay? It finna come put a stop to the madness, man, okay? He's not in, uh, he's not in agreement with, <laughs> with Eve on this go around, man, okay? When you, um, let's go here real quick to Joel. Okay, everything is coming to a head. All right, this is Joel 3 and 13. It said, Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down, for the press is full, and the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Okay, so the Lord, that's why the slain of the Lord will be from one end of the earth to the other, man. You know. He's finna give, he finna root wickedness out the earth, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is coming back to bring life, man. He's coming back to bring order. Okay? And that's why when you go here, 1 Timothy 2 and, all right. Let's go here. That's why it's dealing with, you know, the women. Being in a certain order, you go back to the Apostle Paul, and he's going to go back to the, the, the origin story, you know, <laughs> the, of women being out of order. So he's speaking on women being in order, okay? Now, this is 1 Timothy 2 and 9. It says, in like manner, also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's another thing with the serpent. You know, he pretty much taught the women to dress in a particular way. Where their bodies will be worshipped. You know, it's a lot of women that just make a living, you know, based on, you know, how they're shaped. That's why you see these women going down to go get, you know, these different surgeries. Because in this society, a woman can make a career just based on how she's shaped. You know, being an Instagram model, being a, um, you know, OnlyFans model. Okay? Or, or, or doing, you know, whatever they got to do, you know. They pretty much can make a career based on how they shape. And that's why they wear certain clothing, okay? Certain seductive clothing, okay? For what the advantages, all right, that this society brings, man. And this all goes back to the serpent. So, Apostle Paul, he's speaking on these things, okay? Because, you know, he's dealing with the Israelite uh, foreigners, okay? Those um, Hellenized Jakes. And he's seeing, you know, these things, man. Okay, they were, they was, you know, that Jake was Greeked out. Okay, which there was the culture of, of who Esau eat him, man. The seed of the serpent. So, you know, these particular things was going on. He was seeing things in Rome. Okay, you had thoughts and, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> you see, you had all these different things in Rome as well, man. Okay, and it says, in like manner also, the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. With shame, facing it, and sobriety, not with broided hair, okay, or gold, or pearls, or costly array, all right? And they're just saying that, you know, you shouldn't, you know, a woman should be more than just an outfit, okay? Which in this society, that's what the woman has been reduced to, man, okay? A sexual object and some outfits, man. But now, nah, man, a woman has responsibilities and duties to a nation. Okay, and, and, and it's in righteousness, man. 
And that's what it's going to get into. There's nothing wrong. Of course, a man likes his woman to look nice, you know, hair done, you know. But that shouldn't be the beginning and the end, <laughs> all right, of your value as a woman, okay? It says, but which becoming women professing um, goodliness, godliness with good works, okay? Verse 10 in the... Um, in the LT, it said, for women who claim to be devoted to God should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. Okay? Now it's about going back to responsibility and duty. Okay? Now this is the order that's being established, okay, amongst the church. You know, dealing with women. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. Yeah, the woman, all right. Has no say so when it comes to doctrine, okay. When it comes to uh, positions of authority in the church, a woman has no part in it, man. Okay, she's not built for that, and the and, and and the serpent knew that. Okay, Esau knows that. All right, that's why he puts them in charge. That's why you have the matriarchy. That's why he gives them authority and the power. Okay, over the children. Okay. Because he knows through her, he can he can push anything. He can manipulate her and push anything on the children, man. Okay? So the Apostle Paul, like, nah, a woman, all right, they got to fall back, man. Okay? Verse 12 said, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the men, over the man, but to be in silence. Okay? It doesn't mean a woman is she just a, a, a mute and she doesn't say anything, okay? She just doesn't have anything to do with the affairs of authority, the affairs of doctrine, okay? And having authority over men, no, nah, that's out of order, okay? You know she deal, you know if she got a husband, she deal with him, you know, uh, in the privacy of, of the home, okay? They discuss and speak things in the privacy of the home, but as far as a woman being in the forefront, nah, man, because it it, it leads to the fall every time. That's why Yahweh Shai, when he came, he didn't even deal with women, man. Okay? He didn't deal with women when he came as himself, man. Okay? Verse 13 said, For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Let's read this in the NLT. Verse 14 says, Adam, and it was not Adam who was deceived by Satan. The woman, all right, was deceived. And sin was the result. Okay? So it was the woman that was deceived and, and, and their way took root. And then she was manipulated by the serpent. And then she, all right, um, eventually manipulated Adam. And it wasn't a one conversation situation man it was over time gradualism man just like the serpent you know start gradually you know planting seeds in her head okay and once she was fully persuaded she began to plant those seeds in adam gradually make changes and do you know particular things okay to manipulate adam okay verse um 15 i read in nlt but women will be saved through trial childbearing assuming they continue to live in faith love holiness and modesty man and childbearing is is, is is the number one duty okay that a woman has to a nation so the women are going to be saved by getting in order okay going back to their role as wives of the sons of god okay even if they're not with a man you know they, their, their mindset is being formed in them you know to be a wife okay of an Israelite man, all right, in order and submissiveness, man. Okay, whether they link up on this side or on the chariots, okay, they're gonna be delivered to be back in order, okay, to 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 to, to, to fulfill their responsibilities, all right, to their husband, which is fulfilling their responsibilities to the nation and righteousness, man. Okay, so that's the point, you know, Lord, will you, brothers, and. You few sisters edified to the next time I say shout one. Form Yashallah Baba Ball DTA soon. Shallow one.